to run perform paging, all you need to do is run our paging service on a machine that can already run perform software and that has internet access. Also, that machine needs to have port 25 available for us to access. If you're unsure or your IT person is unsure how to test to make sure port 25 is available on that machine, you can log into the customer portal and just search for paging test. It'll give you a step-by-step -step guide to make sure that computer is ready for paging. First, let's look at the setup. The service maintenance is where you actually set up how you're going to get your pages to your responders. So you might have Sprint or Verizon or AT&T. You put the information on their server to get the text messages out to your responders. You could also use a Gmail account or an Exchange email account as well. Some departments will actually make two services um, for the same server. And what they'll do is they'll have a different reply to address. They'll have one address for law responders and one re address for fire responders. So dispatch will have access to these email accounts. They'll have them up on their screen. And when they send a page out, all the fire responders will apply to one email account and all the law responders will apply to another email account that they have received the page. Paging situations is the feature where information, based on information entered into the call, a list of people to page will be suggested to the dispatcher. You can make an unlimited amount of paging situations. So for example, I have this fire paging situation. And in this situation, it looks for the call reason of fire. I can have multiple call reasons if I want. And I also can have any combination of jurisdiction codes, sites, special reporting area, or fire districts as well. In here, I've specified that one person is to be paged. On this side of the screen, I can specify that a list of people should be paged. If the call has information that accounts for two paging situations, all the people in both of those situations will be suggested to be paged. So for example, if I have a structure fire, in the fire district of Grafton Center, the IMC customer that was listed on my first situation will also be combined with Leo Hiswar here to be both paged for that call. Here's where you set up your paging contacts. They don't have to be in your personnel file. If you have somebody that you need to page it's not in your personnel file, like say for instance um, the fire marshal's office for an arson investigation or uh, maybe a medical examiner for an unattended death, you can enter their information here. Each contact in paging can have an unlimited amount of pagers and cell phones to contact them on. And here's where you can make groups uh, paging list. So for instance, um, your on-call fire list or maybe an overtime call-up list of people to page. So now, let's go into dispatch here. my paging window and dispatch. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start a new call. I'm going to make it a fire. Let's 
see here. I'll make it a tri-tech. And I'll save that call. Now, as soon as I save that call, if I go to my paging window over here, I'll see the orange tab that there's a new page. It's the call 14-1002. And that is the structure file I've just made. So I have the call reason, date, and time, fire district, location information. If I want, before I send this page out, I can type more information. So I can say, let's say it's a working fire. If I'm happy with the recipients from the paging situation, I can just click the send page. Or I can override that list. So let's say I'm going to take this person off. And let's say I'll add this person. And then I'll send the page. This status window over here will show that your page was successfully sent. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you my phone here. All right. So I just got the page. You'll see there's a one message. So I got my page from TriTech. And here's the page I just sent. You'll notice. Um, structure fire and the working fire information I just put in there. The other thing I'd like you to notice is that the address is a hyperlink. If you have an Apple phone, an iPhone version, iOS version 7 or greater, or a Droid phone, I can just press that hyperlink and it'll go into my navigation system and I can start navigating to that call address. Another way to send a page is I can just right click on a responder that I want a page. And you'll see over here, responder G11. I'm going to send a message. And off goes the page. If I have a call that I want to page, page somebody, and it doesn't have a paging situation, I can still always press this page button right here, and that too will create a page. If I've sent a page previously and I want to repage people, I can click the new page like this, and it'll create a new page just like the one I sent, and I can either send them to the same people or to different people if I wish. After, a after you get a lot of pages here for a busy shift, you might want to close out some of these pages. I can actually just X out each page. Or I can click Close All Sent Pages. It's letting me know I haven't sent these two, which is why these tabs are still open. Another way to send a page, not through a call or a responder, is I can just click Send New Page. So I'm going to say um, Overtime Job to Fill Tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Eight to four. Call. Reply. Then interested. And then I can just click on my OT list over here and add all those recipients and send that out. Now instead of calling each one of these uh, people individually, I can just wait for replies of who's interested and fill the job in a matter of minutes.
I showed you text messages, but the other thing I'd like to call to your attention is that you can also put an email address as well and send an email instead of a text message. This is uh, particularly handy for companies like I Am Responding that will take email messages such as this and create a new response incident based off the information in the page. Thank you very much for watching the Perform Paging Demo.